Coffee Maker, Emily here, otherwise known as That Mom with a Laser and the brand ambassador for Eon Laser USA. And in this playlist, I am gonna document my experience with my brand new Eon Nova 14 laser that was sent to me by Eon Laser USA. I'm really excited to get my hands on this thing because it is a very nice machine. Up until now, I've been running my laser business with a 40 watt Mira 5 laser and a 60 watt Mira 7 laser. So I have taken a big jump now with a 130 watt laser that has a pass through that has really great zone control for fume extraction and it's got a lot of nifty uh, features to it that I'm really excited to work with. So in this playlist, I'm gonna cover everything related to my Eon Nova 14, from uncrating it, to setting up the exhaust system, to checking the alignment, running my first job, using the pass-through, you name it, you're gonna find all of my Nova content right here in this playlist. So if you're a Nova user, make sure you save this playlist and let's get to it. Are you ready? Let's go. Alrighty, so it is delivery day over at TM World headquarters. Very exciting day. I was contacted by the shipper in advance. Um, they very nicely asked me, you know, what window of time did I want them to deliver it during. But of course that didn't pan out that way. Um, it was supposed to get there between 9 and 11 a.m. Didn't get there till 4. Thankfully, I mean, I had to leave. I had to go get my kids. But thankfully the delivery guy was very kind and he waited for me. So um, just be ready for the day that your laser arrives for shipping times to fluctuate. Um, I, I know it can be inconvenient, but it's just the way the way things go sometimes, right? I could have believed this guy could just move this around with the right tools all by himself. <laughs> Thankfully, I do have a garage door, so he was able to wheel it right in. If you don't have a garage door, you're gonna have to, I don't know, you're gonna wanna account for having help to help you break down the laser and, and get it into your space. I, I don't even wanna think about that. I have no idea how you guys manage um, without having a space to just wheel it in until you're ready to decrate it and get it set up. But with that said, she's here, so let's get her in the shop. Oh, it's so funny, the laser arrived and I was just so excited. So of course I had to take my time taking my crate pictures. I didn't sit on it. You guys are crazy, those of you sitting on your, on your lasers. I, I like, every time I see one of those photos, it gives me a heart attack. I'm like, no, what if, I don't know, what if the wood breaks and you fall through and you crack your lid? I don't know, I just wouldn't risk it. But anyhow, took some crate pictures <laughs> and took some like before and after footage so I could also, you know, share on my social media accounts and, uh, waited desperately for the day that I could finally uncrate it. So once you have your laser in place, you're definitely gonna want to inspect it thoroughly, make sure that there's no visible damage on the crate. Um, so you just wanna thoroughly inspect everything and should you see any noticeable damage on the crate, you're gonna wanna report it um, immediately before moving forward, okay? That way there's a record of it so that, you know, if Eon, for example, needs to dispute anything with the shipper, they have you know, a record of everything. So since the crate looks good, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, unbox everything. So I'm just cutting off the straps here. And I do wanna say before we move forward, I highly recommend that if you get an Eon, um, you're gonna wanna watch all of the uh, videos provided for you on the Eon Laser USA YouTube channel, okay? So I've gone ahead and I've cut off the straps here. Now we're using a pry bar to um, open up the crate. We're definitely using gloves. We don't want to take any, any risks here. And you're just going to want to gently lift everything up so that you can take it apart. I also highly recommend that you recruit at least two buddies. Um, my husband and I, we were shorthanded. It was just the two of us. They said that, you know, you could do it with two to three people. So we got brave and we did it, but <laughs> I'm sure my nerves would have been I would have been, I definitely would have been less nervous if there was another person there, especially somebody with some muscle. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I look, I'm pretty scrawny, guys. Anyhow, I, I, I would say the ideal number is three, although we definitely were able to manage it with two. And actually, this whole thing was much easier than I thought it would be, but you know, the unknown is always scary. Once we had it out of the crate, it was time to obviously remove all of the plastic and all of the bits inside the laser. Inside this container, you're gonna find your receipt 
and a bunch of other parts. You will have your power cord, remote control, laser safety glasses rated for 10,600 nanometers, hose clamps, an ethernet cable, an acrylic test block. Um, fun fact about these, this is like the final send off from the technician that QC'd your machine. So you see there it says QC Tech Sam, and it says the date of when he completed the quality control check, which means he went through a list of 120 checkpoints to make sure that your laser in is the best condition it could possibly be before they send it off to you. A USB cord, Allen wrenches, bolts for the wheels, as well as your access keys to open up the doors around the laser, acrylic targets to help you with the process of checking the alignment on your laser, as well as that black tube that is the lens removal tube. Replacement mirrors, those are important. You wanna make sure you keep them safe in that container. A hose cleaner, some focal gauges, replacement lenses, also very important. And this doohickey here is a spare air hose fitting. Um, this is for the laser head in case you ever damage it and you have a flame up. Um, they give you a spare so you're not down for two to three days if you ever need to replace it. And a coupon to use towards Johnson Plastics Plus. Um, there's a lot of blanks and supplies that you can get from them. So from that container, I'm gonna need my access keys so that I can open up the side panels of the laser. So that's what these guys are. And I'm just gonna use one so that I can remove the panel on both sides of the laser. You're also gonna need a screwdriver so that you can unscrew the back side of the panels. All right, so the easy parts are over. Now it's time to do the bit that's a little more challenging. But if you recall, I said it was a lot easier than um, you know I thought it would be. So you're gonna see around each corner of the laser, there's a little square support. You're gonna wanna take your pry bar and remove those supports first. Next, you're gonna take your pry bar. Um, the smaller one I had, it, it didn't give us enough leverage, so I had to get a longer one. But basically, you'll take your pry bar, lift up each corner of the laser, and push in one of the wooden dowels underneath, okay? Just like you see here. So we ended up doing that around every corner, and pretty much what this allows us to do is very gently roll the laser off of the, you know, the bottom of the crate like you see us doing here. So we're only pushing it enough so that we can expose the front so that we can go ahead and screw on the wheels. Now, I know I'm saying we, but um, clearly my husband is doing all of the pushing and shoving, but it was surprisingly pretty easy for him once we had those dowels underneath the laser. So I tried, but man, I, I could barely shove it. So thankfully I could be helpful in uncomfortable situations like these where you have to lay down and screw all these uh, screws in to get the wheels on. So I did my part, I didn't leave him hanging, I promise. Once we had the front wheels on, we went ahead and shimmied, well, John did, <laughs> shimmied the laser back and forth until we could expose each of the corners so that we could continue to screw on the rest of the wheels. Then it was time for the big moment of truth and that was just to, you know, wheel it off of the bottom of the crate. And once we did that, we could both finally breathe. The hardest part was done, thank goodness. Well, my friends, thankfully that was not nearly as difficult as I thought it would be. And you know, if you're waiting for a large laser or particularly a Nova laser, hopefully this helps lessen your anxiety and prepare for what's to come. 
Just a reminder to save this playlist. If you're getting a Nova or if you're gonna be working with a laser, I'd love to have you here at the channel. Make sure you subscribe so you get notifications every time I have a new video out. And with that, I'll see you guys here soon over at That Mom with the laser. Bye guys.